Guys, today we're talking about the P365X Macro. And before I go any further, I'm going to give this holster away. It fits the X Macro. I'm going to give this away at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Thanks to KSG Armory for providing this. So, without further ado, I'm going to compare this to the Glock 19 and the Glock 48. In both of these, the barrel is a little bit shorter and the grip is just a tiny bit longer. Now that's a really good thing because it fits what I would call a large compact. You can see my grip here hangs over the bottom just a hair, but it's, it's not so much that I can't put this grip in without, put the grip in, I can keep my grip while inserting a mag and I don't have to change that. Even with a Glock 19, I drop that mag, my grip hangs over a little more, and when I go to insert this, it pinches me if I'm not careful. So I have to let go of that grip just a little bit as I insert that. Not a huge deal, but uh, in this bracket of size, I would say that it, the extra size doesn't make a big deal. If it does make that big a deal, you need to drop down to the P365X or XL or uh, go even smaller than the G48, of course, because, you know, it, it's a tiny bit. I'll, I'll give you the overlays on this and show you what it looks like. But in terms of concealment, it's not going to be make it or break it for most of us. However, in terms of handling, it's, I think it's huge. Uh, I have taken classes and a lot of people switch between a 19 and a 17 or 34. And I took my 19 and my 34 to a class and I found that in terms of actual shooting, the reduced size actually made a big difference uh, in terms of consistent grip. And I was able to pull a whole bunch of sub-second draws with the max macro here. And that's not world-class. You know, a lot of people can do that with some practice. But what is surprising to me is that I was able to pull it with so little practice. This is a gun that shoots like it's a full size. Even though it's short, it, uh, it, it points very naturally for me. Uh, far better than Glocks do, and of course that's a little bit of a personal thing as to how the gun points. But on the draw, when you when you first make that grip on the draw and you come up, this feels very natural, and the Glocks do not. So picking up a G19 feels a little bit like a 2x4, and of course you have to do a bunch of stuff to it in order to make it shoot as well. Uh, the trigger is not great. Yes, you can do it. Uh, it's just, you know, takes a little more work. Uh, it doesn't feel as refined out of the box. Um, so maybe that's a matter of preference and doesn't matter to you. But I do think that the SIG is substantially nicer. In terms of uh, split times between them, I actually, believe it or not, I have the fastest split times with the macro, uh, even faster than G19, even though it, the grip is a little fatter, you'd think you'd be able to get more grip on it. I was able to shoot the SIG uh, a little bit faster. Not a huge amount, but enough to make a difference. Uh, second is the G19, and lastly is the G48. The G48 and, of course, the 43X feel good in the hand, but when I go to shooting them, they're actually, uh, they don't fit my palm swell in here. They don't fit it in here. They fit it front to back just fine, but they don't fit here, and so they feel loose. And if I shoot a bill drill, uh, by shot four, it's working loose in my hand. It doesn't matter how I, how I, how tightly I squeeze. Uh, the G19 does not do that, but neither does the Macro or even the XL, which is a little smaller. The XL does not feel as good in my hand as the 48, but it actually shoots better. And the Macro shoots, uh, again, better than the XL for me. So this comes with uh, the Hall of Sun K, Footprint. I'm not sure what else that matches off the top of my head. It's a number of things. So I was able to throw this Swamp Fox Sentinel on with no adapter plate, and I'll be uh, I'll be ordering ESP or something like that um, because I'm not super fond of this Swamp Fox, but it's what I had. So that's what went on. What really surprises me is that uh, I'm able to come out, track the dot under recoil. I can. I can't call it a lower third co-witness, but I can just barely see the sights uh, through that. I can see the iron sights through that optic just barely. And I really like the sights on this. Uh, it's got a, a, a bright green front and they're not blacked out totally. They do, I guess they have little tritium inserts. They glow in the dark. These are, 
Um, possibly the nicest stock sights that I've ever had on a gun because I don't like um, the three dots or uh, tritium in general because I don't like them showing up in the day. I like blacked out rear and, a, and a, preferably a bright orange front, but uh, this green has been working great. And um, I'm, I'm very impressed that they also work at night because I do live out in the country. I am often in the dark uh, when I'm shooting at something that I can identify in the light. Everybody says, you know, if you can see your target, then you can see your sights. But out here in the country, that's not always true. So I like these. Overall, guys, I am super impressed uh, with the X Macro. I'll be doing a lot more testing. I'm taking it to the Guardian Conference uh, this coming weekend in Oklahoma, and I'll report back. Hope to get a bunch of rounds through it. Guys, time for the giveaway. This is the KSG Armory Declaration. It does come with a DCC clip and a, uh, what is this, Dark Star Gear uh, cloth. So this is re fixed retention. You can bolt this right up to a, in, an Enigma. And uh, it's the ambidextrous sweat guard pattern. Obviously, it will fit a red dot. To win it, all you guys have to do is uh, drop a comment, preferably share the video, but I'm not going to make that a requirement, although I would certainly appreciate it. And again, do me a big favor, like the video, and uh, share it if you see fit. Just drop a comment, let me know why you think you deserve it. I will pick it random. I don't care what reason you give for why you deserve it. Just let me know in the comments and uh, I will throw up a random number generator and we'll get this out to you.